Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at something called as microprocessors. The first question that should come to your mind is that why is it called as microprocessors? Why not something else? Why not nano processor or milli processor or something like that? So the answer to that question is that let us say that the frequency of operation is of a microprocessor around 3 megahertz. As you all know, there is some frequency related to operation. So here I'm assuming that the frequency of operation is 3 megahertz. Then you all know that time t is equal to 1 by f. That means here it will be equal to 1 by 3 into 10 to 6. And that translates to 0.33 into 10 to minus 6 seconds, which is nothing but 0.33 microseconds. So this micro term is the reason or the main cr criteria of naming these chips as microprocessors. Now the second question that may come to your mind is that why 8085, why 8086, why such weird names, why not some easy names, okay. So the answer here is that now these uh, there is a story behind this. There were two people named as Gordon Moore and Robert Noyce. Now they were working for Fairchild Semiconductor Company and then they decided to quit that company and have their own startup. So they started Intel. Now when Robert Noyce was chairman of Intel, a scientist or an engineer named Ted Hoff came to them with a design of making microprocessors for using them in calculators. He was like that why have separate registers, why have like so many things separately instead of that we can combine them all on a single chip and thus the idea for microprocessors was born. The first microprocessors were 4 bits okay they had 4 bit data system okay data buses was of 4 bits that is why the series began with 4000 okay so 4001, 4002, 4003, 4004 and so on. Next they built 8 bit data processors, microprocessors, okay, and hence the series began with 8000. So then uh, when the first 5 volt microprocessor was designed, it was named as 8085, okay, the 5 representing 5 volts. And then 8086 came into picture. So they designed 8086 and it was of 16 bit data bus. It had 16 bit data bus. So the name 8086 stuck to it. Then came 8087 which is a math coprocessor and so on. So in this video we are mainly focusing on the difference between 8085 and 8086 microprocessors. So the first is that the data bus is of 8 bits here and in 8086 it is of 16 bits. Next, the address bus is 16 bits in 8085 and the address bus in 8086 is 20 bits. The memory capacity is 64 KB and here it is 1 MB. The input output port address are of 8 bits and here it is again of 8 bits. Operating frequency is 3 MHz and here in 8086 the operating frequency is 5 MHz. Now 8085 doesn't support multiplication and division instructions. On the other hand 8086 does support multiplication and division instructions. Now it does not support pipelining which means 8085 does not have pipelining but 8086 supports two independent pipelining units namely execution unit and bus interface unit. Then 8085 does not support instruction queue but 8086 does support instruction queue. Here memory space is not segmented but 8086 has segmented memory space. Now 8085 consists of 5 flags, sign flag, zero flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag, carry flag and 8086 on the other hand consists of 9 flags okay namely overflow flag, direction flag, interrupt flag, trap flag and then the same as 8085, sign flag, zero flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag and carry flag. 
Now, most of the things may not be clear at this stage. Like, what, for example, what is this flag? What is the segmentation? What is this pipelining? And we will cover them in further videos. One thing to note here is this memory capacity. Here it is 64 KB and this is 1 MB. Now, even your phones have capacity more than like 16 GBs, at least 16 GBs. So one thing to understand is that these microprocessors are used in television remotes, calculators or AC, air conditioner remotes. Okay, They do not require to store games or images which are of MBs or KBs long. They just require to store data which can help in changing channels on TV or which can help in increasing or decreasing temperature in AC. And these instructions in those remotes are just bytes long, not even in KBs, they are just bytes long, like 80 bytes, 20 bytes, 40 bytes, even that is more than enough. So that is why less memory capacity was contained in these microprocessors. In further videos, we'll study about them in detail. Till then, thank you.